excited and proud to share with you about my company that I've been with for 27 years, um, HEB. So just for a, a hand, to, I can know who I'm talking to. How many people, before she mentioned it, had ever even heard of HEB? Okay, how many people had not ever heard of HEB, had no clue? Okay, well that's exciting. Um, we are in Texas and Mexico, so if you haven't, if you don't live in Texas and Mexico, you probably haven't heard of us, and that's okay. But I hope after today you're going to realize that it is one of the greatest retailing companies in the world. To start off, we have a great history at HEB, and like she mentioned, we were founded by a woman. A Florence Butt um, actually had a husband who was very, very ill and started HEB on the first floor of her home in Kerrville back on November 26, 1905. So yes, that's right, 113 years ago, our company was founded by a female. We're very proud to say that that, that company continued to grow. And many people ask me, what does HEB stand for? Um, we have a great uh, a brand that we put out that we say helping everybody, but actually, HEB stands for Howard Edward Butt, who was her son. Her son is pictured there in the passenger side of that Model T, and he took over the company and continued to grow it. Also, I'd like to mention that in that Model T is where they were actually delivering groceries. So way back in the day, we were already delivering groceries and having home delivery. That's now the big surgeons of everything. So we've been cutting edge for many, many years. <laughs> Today, we actually have 400 stores in Mexico and uh, in, North, in northern Mexico and in Texas. We have lots of different formats that have contributed to that. Uh, our sales are about 23 billion. Texas is a big state. And our multiple formats include our HEB that continues to grow over the years, over 113 years. We also have Central Market, which is based here in Dallas. And that's kind of our foodie format for anyone who loves food and looks for foods all around the world. We have our Mi Tienda format that is really a Latino format that's based on looking to serve those customers who are first or second generation Mexican. So it's a very, very small niche, but in Texas we have a large uh, population of them who are looking for products and services that they couldn't find anywhere else. You can find those at Mi Tienda. We also have our Jovi Smart Shop, which is our price format. The prices there will be anywhere between 15 to 20% lower than anywhere else you can find in that marketplace, and it serves us very well for our value customer. We also have our HEB Plus format, which is our largest format that has a, a, some stores as large as 150,000 square feet, that has lawn and garden, apparel, furniture, home, home goods. Um, some of the stores even have HEB Optical and um, Mia's Mirror, which is like a fun place to go and get costume jewelry, uh, very similar to some of our, our other competitors. So we're very excited about our multiple formats. In addition to that, just recently you announced that we have joined forces with Favor. And Favor is going to really help us take us into the next era of home delivery and services. And we still continue to have our very emerging market of curbside, where customers are able to drive up to the store, pick up their groceries after um, ordering them online, or um, have home delivery. So as you can see by the large number of brands that we have, we we'll really try to cater to every type of customer, every type of Texan that's out there. But what's most important to us really is our partner base. That is a differentiator for us across all of these different brands and across everything that we do at HEB. We're proud to say that we are the largest private employer in Texas with 106,000 partners and counting. We're still opening up many stores. This year alone, in just the Houston area, we're gonna be opening up 11 new stores. So you can see that that number continues to grow and to grow and to grow. Um, our, uh, our, our stores are something that we're proud of and our partners are just as diverse as the stores and the concepts that we have. A little bit about our culture of giving. It, it really started all the way back in the very beginning with Florence Butt. She was known to be very giving and very philanthropic and that continued through the family as our company is still family owned. Our chairman and CEO is Charles Butt. He still continues to run the, the company. He is the grandson of Howard Edward Butt. And HEB is proud to say that we donate 5% of all of our pre-tax earnings income to charities. Here's just some of the ones that we're extremely proud of here in the Texas area. Um, our Read 3 program, where we really focus on reading to children and growing literacy. Before the age of three, we've learned a lot of the growth can come from a child's brain. 
Um, we, we donate to all the, all the major few banks that are around in the, in the Texas area. We have a Feast of Sharing, which actually gives hundreds of thousands of hot meals to people throughout the holiday season in every single area that we operate in. Uh, we gave 400,000 pounds of food to the Virgin Islands when they were struck with devastation. But one of our pinnacle awards is excellence in education. We're very excited about this because we do want to make the lives of Texans better, and we want to focus on public education in Texas, which, could, which, as we all know, could use a lot of improvement. During these awards, we really focus on those public educators. They're doing an excellent job day in, day out, and it's probably one of the the, the groups of people that get the least amount of recognition for the hard work that they do every day. So we're very, very proud about that. In addition, we gave millions of dollars to the J.J. Watt Fund that you might have heard about that was to help the Hurricane Harvey victims. And we continue to give money across all the state of Texas and in Mexico to help the lives of, te of Texans. A little bit about our purpose and mission really is to work together to make the lives better for our partners, our customers, in our communities. When we talk about what HEB is about, we say, you know what, we are a grocery retailer. However, we consider ourselves more of a philanthropic company that uses the profits that we make from selling groceries to give back to the communities instead of the other way around. We're very, very proud of the presence that we have, and our partners are very proud of it. And everywhere you go, you can have, you, we, we're embarked with people who'll say, gosh, thank you for what HEB did in my community, to the schools, at a very small level and a, a very large level. But we really try hard not to advertise what we do, because that's not why we do it. We do it because we live here. Texas is our home, and we want Texas to be better. Uh, this, didn't, this showed up more than you can imagine. Uh, in, the, in the last year's event with Hurricane Harvey. August 25th, 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit Rockport, where we actually have a large presence of stores. The devastation was something that we could not have imagined, and the memory of that incident is going to be with us forever. A 130 mile per hour winds, a category four hurricane, Harvey hitting the Texas coast. Uh, this is the command center where HEV has brought together all of its experts who are supporting everyone from our stores to our warehousing to our manufacturing plants as a result of Hurricane Harvey. During the notice that a hurricane was coming, we were selling about an 18 wheeler of uh, water every 90 minutes. We were actually partners and customers were helping us get them unloaded and sold. So the lines were definitely into the aisles. It was almost to the back of the store, and everyone's trying to get ready and be prepared. It is raining like you wouldn't believe. The winds are incredible. Oh my God. Now nightfall is bringing the chance of isolated pockets of rain and strong winds as Harvey's persistent remnants meander toward Houston. While that was the most devastating incident that we've had in our uh, trade area, we were also extremely proud of how our partners came together, worked together with the HEB spirit to help our partners, our customers, and our community. I want to talk a little bit about our hurricane efforts and our recovery efforts because it was a big part of who we are and we were able to put that into action. You know, a big part of our culture is rallying the troops. Just like in any family, when bad things happen, everyone gathers together to try to make sure that we can get the family back up on their feet. And that's exactly what we do. A big part of what we stand for is being the very last store to open, I mean, the very last store to close and the very first store to open after an incident like that. If you think about it, the supplies and the things that are necessary for people to get back on their feet and to regain their lives, a lot of that is at the grocery store. Many, many of our competitors did not open for a week a week and a half, two weeks after the incident. Most of our stores stayed open to the very end and were open the very next day or a couple of days later. Maybe not with a lot of product, maybe not with a lot of employees, but doing what we could. And that's a big part of how we try to push to stay together. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what we did uh, for our partners, what we did for our customers, and also what we did for our community in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. For our partners, uh, of course, we go all out. We have 106,000 partners. Uh, for this incident, it really hit the Gulf Coast region, which was uh, Corpus Christi, Rockport area, Houston, and then it went on to Beaumont. In those areas, we had partners with complete devastation, lost their homes, lost their, lost their, their cars, lost everything. 
um, we immediately put together a 24-hour uh, call-in so partners could call at any time of day or night, explain their situation that they were in, and the HR professionals on the other line would provide immediate assistance. Sometimes that assistance came um, electronically with the gift card, cash, we provided hotel and housing, we provided cleaning supplies, anything that we possibly could to get people through the, uh, through the immediate tragedy, but then also continue throughout the months because as you all know, FEMA doesn't always come through when you want it to, insurance companies are difficult to deal with, and we continue to help our partners. Uh, one of the things that was amazing is our partners that maybe weren't impacted wanted to help so much. So we actually started a nonprofit uh, organization called Partners Helping Partners, where partners could actually donate money to help others because people just wanted to do so much. We also had a link on our PartnerNet site for partners who wanted to open up their homes for other partners, like, hey, you can come stay with us. I have a place to stay because the devastation was that great, and believe me, it was very, very difficult to get hotels for everyone who needed a place to stay. We also had over 600 partners that volunteered to go and help. Volunteered to go and help clean up stores. You can imagine the store without electricity and that took on water, how much it takes to clean out all the damaged merchandise, clean it up and get it ready to sell in a very quick amount of time. Those partners volunteered their time and they came from all over the state of Texas and we went ahead and paid them all time and a half for the entire time that they were there, even though they volunteered and that's not why they did it, what they were looking for. We also had several partners come to help out other partners clean up their homes, rip out sheetrock. If you can imagine, it was very, very difficult in those days to find a contractor to come and help you. Everyone is overloaded. So our partners went out and helped the um, other partners. If you see at, that, at the top photo, that partner's walking through that mud, his name is Francisco. And he is an hourly partner from uh, our Friendswood store. Now we paid partners if they could not come to work. So there really wasn't a reason for people to feel compelled to come if they were in the middle of a disaster. And that's something that we've done for years. Even though he could have stayed at home and gotten paid, he chose to wade through the water to get to the store, to open it, help open it up for our customers and for our partners. We weren't even aware of this, but a local news station found this picture, took this clip, talked to him, and he was a, pretty, a local celebrity, pretty cool, to see the spirit of HEB in an hourly non-management partner who took it upon himself to, to really endanger his life to get there to help others in his community. Um, if you look at the partner down below, Rita, um, she actually was the beneficiary. Where several partners came to her home, helped her uh, clean it out, and there was an heirloom chest that had been in her family for generations that, she, uh, that was a complete loss, and she told them just to throw it away. But unbeknownst to her, those partners actually took it, refurbished it, and a couple of weeks later brought it back to the store and surprised her with this heirloom that had been completely refurbished. And these are just a few of the stories of the things that our partners did for each other um, and, and for the community and to help to get the stores back open for um, our customers. So we had to celebrate that. Twice a year, we have a, a live broadcast that's company-wide called HEB Live. And um, we dedicated uh, the very next HEB Live to all of the Hurricane Harvey heroes. Um, everyone in the company got the, got the shirts that you see listed there. Uh, a few of you have these red uh, wristbands on your table. We pass these out to all of our partners. It says Texas Strong and um, HEB Proud. But when we asked our partners, what is it that you really would like to have to commemorate this? A lot of them said, we want a pin, a pin that we can wear on our name badge. So we also created this Hurricane Harvey Hero pin that partners can proudly wear on their name badges to show um, that they were a part of the, of the whole impact that, that helped to bring us all together. We also believe in making our communities better. Here's a smart video. I'm here with Ed Toy, 23-year veteran driver. Handle is Fleetwood. So we're on our way after a long day, having delivered a convoy of 14 tractor trailers down here in Beaumont early this morning and delivering much needed water to the community down here. So HEB brought its mobile relief units from San Antonio that it's taken to other serious weather events, a much needed pharmacy, a business center for payments, cashing checks, and two mobile kitchens. They're equipped to prepare and give away up to 2,000 meals three times a day to residents and first responders. So HEB is considered a first responder for the state of Texas. And that uh, convoy they were talking about, we actually got a call from the city of Beaumont saying, we believe that our water supply has been compromised. Is there anything that HEB could do? We actually got helicopters and flew over the area because at that time, 
I-10 was shut down. It was completely flooded. People were not able to pass through there, but we were able to determine that we would be able to get our tractor trailers through. And so we had that convoy and provided the 14 tractor trailers of water so the city of Beaumont could have water for, um, for the community out there. Uh, if you can only imagine how hard it would be to get to a pharmacy or a business center. We had mobile showers. We had mobile uh, washing machines available. Because if you didn't have that, it's a big deal when you don't have a shower and a washing machine and there is no water in the city. And we're very proud to be able to do this for our communities, especially in an area where other organizations that really are focused on disaster relief were unable to make that call. But we were able to, to come in and do that. And we were very excited and proud that we had great response from our customers. Now, mind you, we didn't do this to get praise from our customers, and we didn't do this for any type of marketing ploy, and we very rarely even advertise what we do. But it was much appreciated to see that the people in the community noticed what we did and determined that we were a big part of what helped to get the neighborhood, the city, and in some parts of the state back together. Uh, I'm very proud of the organization that I work for. We've done a lot. Here's some really cute memes that we found. As you're going through this, when you see something like this on social media, it just makes you laugh. And it brings a little a smile to your face. But in the end, what it really means is that um, HEB is a part of the community. We're from Texas, for Texas, Texans. And um, the spirit of HEB is still alive. And we're so proud to be able to be here apart with you today. Hopefully, we never have another incident like we did at Hurricane with Hurricane Harvey. Um, we've also uh, forged many other things. Never thought something would be this bad. But if you remember, we had the Magnolia fires. We had the Bastrop fires, uh, Hurricane Ike. Each time, unfortunately, we get a little bit more experience. Like I said, hopefully we never have something like this again, but if we do, we're prepared because at HEB, we believe in helping here. Thank you for your time.